Dulcie. Oh, no, no. And then tell me your name. Hi, Dulcie. Hi. My name's Scott Shaw. Uh-huh. And you do all this wonderful, fan this orange, is this the orange? Annoying orange. I worked on the TV show and I, and I wrote and drew these graphic novels. Um, these are all characters here that I've written and drawn over the years. Done a lot of work on the Flintstones and the Simpsons. The and, Flintstones, uh, and I have something from the Flintstones, a little uh, savings bank with uh, Fred Flintstone. Oh. And they're and they're now they're out of Burbank and they they uh, closed shop, right? Hanna Barbera hasn't existed in many years other yeah. than as a uh, right. a copyright notice. Uh -huh. But uh, I work I work directly with uh, Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera and. Uh, Oh my goodness. Uh, produced and directed a number of their shows and uh, enjoyed working there very much. We were there in a period where maybe the cartoons weren't so good, but it was still nice working for the last men in, in uh, LA that knew how to actually make a cartoon. Mm -hmm. And when I see the Tom and Jerry's on TV now, the old ones, yeah. I can't believe I knew those guys and worked with them. Wow, well, that really, that's really it's such a memory of greatness, really. That's so yeah, rare, they were very so rare. interesting guys, not mm -hmm. necessarily guys you might want to be a business partner with. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm being interviewed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you enjoying it? Tell yeah, oh, but yeah. She's, she's messing at my table with all of her equipment. Really? He's from New York. You are, I'm right, and so am I. Me too. Hello. That's why I can get away with saying that. We, 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 say we know, we know. <laughs> Don't we know more than anybody else? We know. Everybody at anything, we're in there, right? That's right. And uh, so, Scott Shaw, we have things that you have drawn in the past and in present, and all this magnificent work in black and white. Uh, yeah, this is. These are the originals for comic oh, book pages. My so I draw them this size mm -hmm. and in, in, in black ink, and then and now it's all done, you know, copied digitally. But I still do all my comic work, you know, manually. Oh, you do. And then it, they right? had this stuff colored and lettered and. Uh, yeah, colored and lettered, huh? By other artists. Well, yeah, people that specialize in that no, because yeah. it's, it's more or less a uh, assembly line process. Uh -huh. I just insist on doing all the writing and drawing myself. Oh my God, you have a great imagination for all this. I do have a great ima imagination. Right now, I'm imagining this is the greatest comic convention I've ever been to. <laughs> You're too funny. Oh well, that's what God. I'm paid to do. Oh, look at this. I see Fred Flintstone. I see this Bart Papa Simpson. Smurf. Oh, oh, this this Smurf. is one of my characters, Captain Carrot. They just did a big book reprinting a lot of my stuff oh, over Captain there. Captain Carrot. Sonic the Hedgehog, Yogi Bear, Muppet Babies. I uh, produced John Candy and Martin Short's cartoon shows and worked with most of the Second City people. Second City? So you're a comic? No, no, I'm not a comic, but, well, I, I, I have a, a, a program I do on stage, but I could never live the life of a stand-up comedian. I know, it's pretty tough. I'd rather be a sit-down comedian. Said like a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is here. He's a very truthful artist. And look at this annoying orange. How did you come up with this name? I didn't create that. It existed no. as a, uh, oh, yeah? a series of little uh, digital cartoons that were on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And they got popular enough that Cartoon Network bought a show of them. And they realized they needed some actual cartoonists to put this stuff together. So I worked on that show for a couple of seasons. And then they asked me to do the graphic novels. What years? Let me see. I think 2012 and 2013. It's very recent. It's yeah, very, it's very recent. recent. Yeah. And uh, uh, where did you get this uh, unusually great Hawaiian-looking shirt? Well, yeah, it's Hawaiian, but actually, it's all. It's all, so, I realize it's all artwork derived from stills of white women dressed as Mexicans. Um, <laughs> there's no, I mean, look at the face. That's not a Latina. That's like Dorothy Lamore or which somebody. Which one here? This no, one right here. Yeah, you think that's a Dorothy Lamore? I don't know if it's her, but it's somebody that looked about the same. I mean, there's not a, they're, they're, they're maybe looking this very, lady very had a Latina aunt. 
Yeah, 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 right. yeah, there's something, maybe a cousin. It's <laughs> Oh my God! He's I, I like, you are a comedian. Like you are a comedian. You are so no, funny. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. No, I got I'm beaten up for being a weirdo when I was a oh, kid. Oh no! I can hardly I, believe that. You're agreeing with that? Oh yeah. How dare you? Back, back in the 1950s, you got beaten up for knowing anything. Yeah. That's Especially right. how to correctly pronounce dinosaur names. Exactly. Or to draw a picture. I act, my, my parents actually got called into school and were told that their son had an attitude because I corrected the teacher on the pronunciation of the dinosaur name. <laughs> and, I, and I wasn't being a wise ass at all, but I was just so obsessed with dinosaurs, mm -hmm. which weren't cool at the time, other than in monsters movies exactly but so it was it, it, it I'm very delighted to see geeks taking over and by the time that falls down I'll be dead so it won't <laughs> oh my this son going from the ridiculous to the dreadful if, if yeah. I live terribly old I could be the guy that you interview that says I remember when geeks ruled the world man <laughs> He's trying to be casual. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show me how you uh, be uh, Captain America. Yeah, give us a pose out. Show me how you do that with a shield. I don't know how to do it. That's okay. You can just. Oh, that's the perfect pose. Oh, you're doing it. You're great job. Yay! Very good. Bravo. Well done. You really look like Captain America, doesn't he, Dad? Oh yeah. Looking more, looking more and more like. <laughs> he does. He does. Are you a? Yes, he has a full regalia. Are you an artist too, Dad? <laughs> huh? Are you an artist? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean you say yeah? I'm a little bit of an artist. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. What do you mean? What kind of art do you do, Dad? Uh, commercial. Oh yeah, what kind? What do you do for? Uh, actually, animation for uh, for uh, really? television. Uh, 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 materials like transformers and uh, what is your name Byron Byron mm -hmm. and uh, where do people reach you um, online I guess yeah I have like some online content you do? So they just want to look up uh, yeah Byron uh, and Yoranda I think they will be able to find me what is it how do you spell it it's p-e-n-a-r-a-n-d-a -A -A. hey we have Steve Gordon here today he's going to tell us all about this wonderful art <laughs> Where he studied and you know yeah okay and all that sure so, hi uh, my name's Stephen E Gordon and I have uh, been in the animation business for uh, 35 plus years hmm. and I didn't go to school for it I kind of learned on the job started with Ralph Bakshi back in '77 and I've been in the business ever since and slowly crossing over into doing illustration and comic art and whatnot, but you know, I'm best known for uh, character design of X-Men Evolution and Swan Princess. Mm. And some of this is in the background, Steve. Yep. We are magnificent poster here, and he's going to autograph this book for this young man that's a real autograph. and. I think I've got to buy the book. <laughs> He's going to do with a drawing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here with Steve Gordon. I can't believe it. It's wonderful. Thank you. Just look at this. Look what he did here. Look at this. Isn't that great? Got such feeling in all of it. There's so much emotion and feeling. There's so much feeling. Oh my goodness, Steve. Goodness, you did all this and from uh, just right learning in a group of artists and well, on the job, learn as I went. Yeah, you really have to learn, you know, from people around you a great deal in this um, music, art, all kinds of art. You have to learn from others, that's for well, sure. Definitely, it, it helps to yeah. learn from people better than you. Right, when you see them doing it, it's so, so much better, right? And 
so this is your latest project is what? Uh, currently I'm doing an online comic for Edgar Rice Burroughs Inc. and I'm um, working on several uh, miscellaneous freelance jobs as a storyboard artist and whatnot. Mm -hmm. so. now, what, what, uh, how, how did you get into this animation thing you mentioned? I just got lucky. <laughs> they yep. were uh, looking for artists way back when uh, to work on Lord of the Rings back in 77. And Are you talking about the producers? The they? Well, the studio. The studio? That was working. What producing studio? Which one? Bakshi Productions. Bakshi? Ralph Bakshi. And, the division uh, of anything like Warner? No? Well, no, not at that time. No? No, it was just a, a small studio that was producing Lord of the Rings. and. I got hired and I've been in the business ever since. And that was down in Hollywood? Yeah. Okay, well, so you must have been shocked when, kind of, well, yeah. when all that happened. Yeah, I was young, I didn't know any better. So you, you, I was happy and you know, I got paid well and I was thrilled. So. Now how old were you, 18? Uh, 17. Or? 17 years old? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you're just marvelous. Well, thank you very much for the interview. I, uh, we're going to check out your website and look okay. for more of your wonderful art ahead. Thank you very much. Oh, we're ending our day here with um, probably the next event that Dulce Productions may very well attend. Today is extremely windy. Uh, so this November day will soon be lost to the Christmas season and prior to the Thanksgiving that we'll all be celebrating pretty soon but now here's another parade and yes this is the Granada Hills Parade Sunday December 7 2014 a day that will be remembered that's for sure it's the parade route is to Chatsworth Street Pettit Park to Granada Hills High that's the high school, and um, and by the way, the Granada Hills High School was a given a gift from none other than Kirk Douglas uh, for their playing fields. Yes, um, all that was revamped by his generous contributions to fencing and making that field a play ground for different sports. Yes, they're at Granada Hills High School, which I believe is a charter school. And uh, some very nice students over there. So welcome everyone for the next event for Christmas.